Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and this is my most popular video, so I figured I would do just an update. I've learned a few things in recording, and really, gosh, who is this tool? I mean, seriously, what a... But he's got a sweet hat. Hold on, hold on. All right, there we go. So we're doing Votifier. The reason I love doing this one is because I had a little bit of problem getting it running myself. It's a little bit different than most plugins, and uh, a lot of you guys have the same issues. So here we go. Um, the reason it's a little bit different is it's kind of a two-stage two process. The Votifier plugin itself, and then you need to set up a listener, which actually performs the actions once you receive a vote. Uh, so here we go. You download your plugin from bucket.org, and then you're going to put it in your plugins folder here, and then you start your server, just like usual. You're going to start it, just like always, and there it goes. It, it runs, uh, and it tells you what port it's listening on, which we'll get into that in a minute here. So we're going to stop it. So now uh, you'll see a Votifier folder, just like any other plugin, and you can open your config file. Uh, let's get this in here. Um key point i've answered so many questions this is a little bit of a fact here for you leave your host at zeros it'll mess everything up if you put an ip address in there just leave it at zeros i highly doubt you'll need to update that 95 percent of you out there won't need to update that if you do you'll know about it because i'm sure you'll figure out it's a highly customized situation that you need to do that. The other thing to note is your port. If you're running the server at home, you need to forward your port as well on your router. I've answered tons of questions about that as well. And that's pretty much it. Leave that how it is. The other thing you're going to need to know is in this RSA, you're going to need to know your public key. This is this is key for setting up your Votifier on the website. They're going to need this. This is just how they authenticate and connect. That's just how it is. So uh, when you're registering it, you're going to need to know that key. It's pretty simple. All right. Now, this is the part that's a little bit different. You have to go download your listener. I use the Vote for Cash listener. I'll have the link in the description like before. There's tons of listeners out there that are going to perform a bunch of different actions, uh, random items, diamonds, whatever you want. I'm, I like the vote for cash one, so we're just going to go ahead and plop that in here. Now, it's not ready yet. What The next thing we need to do is go back. We have to restart our server so it can recompile that listener, and then you're going to have the settings. All right, so that's done. Stopping the server, going to plugins, going to Votifier. Now you got a vote for cash folder. Now you're going to open that. You're going to open your properties in there. Bam. You're going to have your reward amount, whatever you want it to be. You can have the voted message, whatever you want it to be, the broadcast message, the currency. If you have custom games for your currency, butter, some crazy people, um, or like greenies of what we run. Uh, you can set broadcast true or false. The one thing that I don't do is the nag part. And like all it like one thing to note, this is gonna be different depending on whatever listener you run. If you programmed your own listener, this is gonna be different. That's pretty much it. So that's about it. I'll uh, upload this server build. You can download it and start your server. You already have Votifier. Um, I'll clear out the public key, which it'll regenerate for you so that not everybody knows your public key. And um, then you should be up and going. And that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, um, press like if you enjoyed this video. I'll do my best to answer most questions. And um, thank you guys for having this uh, the original video getting so great in the views. And I hope to keep doing this with more tutorials. I've done, you know, you can check out all my other tutorials. And I do my best to answer the questions. So, um, yeah, this is Kaz from Rick Friends. And as always, enjoy the game. All right. That's the high hand of my challenge. <laughs> Ready, guys? Ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs> Ready. The wither is not a valley girl.